Hello friends, this video on electric charges and fields part 24 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Please make sure that you have watched all the videos till part 23 before going ahead with part 24. Now let us see what is an electric dipole. As I told you, uh, how did we reach to this topic? So let us see what it is. It is a system of two charges which are equal in magnitude but opposite in nature and separated by a small distance. So here we will not talk about a single charge. We will talk about a pair of charge. That is two charges, let us say plus Q and minus Q because they should have the same magnitude but opposite in nature. If one is positive, the other one has to be negative. Separated by a very small distance. Now, to mention specifically, this distance has to be very small. What would happen if the distance is very large? In that case, the two charges will not have any effect on each other. That's because, let us say, the charge plus Q is here and minus Q is somewhere here, so far off that it is not even within the range of the electric field of plus Q. So obviously it will not have or it will not have any kind of interaction with plus Q. So when two charges are placed near each other at a very close distance, and the two charges are equal in magnitude but opposite in nature, then that system of two charges is known as an electric dipole. The term dipole, di means two. So two charges constitutes a dipole, right? So the total charge of this system is, what is the total charge of the system? Obviously zero, right? Because if both are of equal magnitude and of opposite nature. So the total charge of this system is zero. However, this doesn't imply that the field due to dipole is zero. We will see it very soon that how is it that if the total charge is zero, many of you might think that if total charge is zero, then the field because of this should also be zero. But that is not the case. We, in our next slides, I'll show you what is the field that uh, arises because of a system of two charges. Now as the charges are separated by a small distance, therefore the electric fields due to the two charges don't exactly cancel out because the distance between them is very small. So it is not that it gets cancelled out at all the points. So it is partially cancelled out but not completely. So now we will define the quantity which makes this electric dipole measurable. Like how we have electric field intensity when we talked about electric field. Similarly, we will talk about something called electric dipole moment when it comes to an electric dipole. So what does this dipole moment do? This dipole moment basically tells us the strength of the dipole, how strong the dipole is. So it is basically a measurable parameter. So how do we measure it? It is nothing but the product of magnitude of either charge. Please make a note of this. Either charge. You product of either charge and the perpendicular distance between them. It is denoted by uh, the letter P. So how do we define it? It is mathematically expressed as P is equal to Q into D. So Q is the measure of each of the charges. So in case of a dipole, both will have the same magnitude, right? So this will be Q multiplied by D if D is the distance between the two charges. Not only distance, rather the perpendicular distance between the two charges. For example, if I have a charge plus Q here and a charge minus Q here, so if I talk of dipole, it should be the perpendicular distance between the two charges. That means it should be this distance. This is the perpendicular distance between the two charges. Right? So dipole is the product of, dipole moment is the product of either charge and the perpendicular distance between them. It is a vector quantity as it has both magnitude as well as direction. When I talk of direction of an electric dipole moment, the direction is always from the negative charge 
towards the positive charge. So it is contrary to your field. When we were talking of electric field lines, they were from positive to negative. But when I talk of dipole moment, dipole moment's direction is always from the negative charge towards the positive charge. So the SI unit of dipole moment is Coulomb meter. As we can see, the SI unit of charge is Coulomb and the perpendicular distance is meter. So the SI unit here is Coulomb meter. Now let us make a note of some very important points when we talk about electric dipole. A standard convention which we follow always is all distances are measured from the midpoint of the dipole. For example, we come across situations like this, right? Say I say that there is a dipole. Say this is the dipole. You have a charge plus Q minus Q and the distance between the dipole is I mean the distance between the two charges is D. If I say something like this that at a point which is at 2 meters from the dipole the electric field is XYZ. So how do I measure that point which is at 2 meters from the dipole because the dipole itself has a certain length right. So the convention which we follow is that at all times we will measure the distances from the midpoint of the dipole. So if I say that at a point which is at 2 meters from the dipole, so I will measure that point 2 meters from here. Right? So no matter what, wherever the point may be, all distances will be measured from the midpoint of the dipole. There is something called ideal dipole. What is an ideal dipole? A dipole is said to be an ideal one if the charges are of large magnitude separated by very small distance. As I told you before also that the distance being small is of great significance when I talk of an electric dipole. This distance should not be large. So when the distance is very small and comparatively the magnitude of the charges are very large that kind of dipole is known as an ideal dipole. So we consider that as the ideal situation. There is another term which is often used that is called quadrupole. So what is a quadrupole? It is, you can, you can link it to the term dipole. When I say dipole, I have two charges because of the term di. Di means two. When I say quadrupole, what is quadru? Quadru refers to four. That means it must be a system where we have four charges. So basically it is nothing but a combination of two dipoles. When two dipoles are linearly arranged in such a way that one of the charges of each dipole will overlap with each other. For example, look at this figure. These are two dipoles, right? This is one dipole. This is another dipole. Let us say this is minus Q, this is plus Q. So this is one dipole, this is another dipole, plus Q, minus Q. Now we have arranged this dipole in such a way that both the positive charges are together. They are overlapping with each other. So such a kind of a system is known as a quadrupole. Now quadrupole can be categorized into two types. One is called positive quadrupole. And the other one is negative quadrupole. So positive quadrupole is one where the positive charges overlap. That is the scenario which is represented here. Here if you see plus Q and plus Q are overlapping with each other. So this is known as a positive quadrupole. When I talk of a negative quadrupole, it is somewhat like this. The negative charges that is minus Q and minus Q will overlap with each other. And plus Q and plus Q will be at the two ends. So what is quadrupole? It is nothing but two dipoles linearly arranged such that similar charges of both the dipoles overlap. Right? So now we will talk of basically how do we find electric dipole? I mean how do we find the dipole moment at certain points outside the dipole? Or how do we even calculate electric field at points outside dipoles? Before this also when I was talking about electric field I told you how do we evaluate electric field at different points for different types of conductors. We talked about that infinite long conductor, we even talked about the circular coil. 
so now we will see if they if you have a dipole so just now just in in a slide before i told that the net field in a dipole is non zero so we will calculate the electric field due to a dipole at some point outside the dipole so before we do that i would like to mention about two types of points there is something called axial point and something called equatorial points in case of a dipole so what are axial point as the name suggests it it is something related to axis so any point which lie on the same line as that of the dipole is known as an axial point that is the point which lies on the axis of the dipole so this is your dipole which is the axis of the dipole obviously this line is the axis of the dipole right so any point which lies across this line is known as an axial point let us suppose if i consider this point p since this point lies along the same axis of the dipole so this is known as an axial point similarly when i talk of equatorial point that means any point which lies on the perpendicular bisector line of the dipole so in this case this is the dipole which is the perpendicular bisector of dipole obviously this is the perpendicular bisector that is perpendicular as well as it bisects the line joining the two charges so any point which lies here say this point p this is known as an equatorial point so why i introduce these two points are because now as we go ahead we will see how do we calculate electric field at an axial point and electric field at an equatorial point of a dipole thank you please visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos try free online tests get the best quality study materials study from the best tutors and mentors and much more thank you once again